Good day, fellow investors. Peter Lynch says that if you can't present a company in two minutes, then it doesn't pay to invest in that company. So in this video, I'm going to try to present a company that I think it's a good buy in two minutes. Let me immediately start. The company is the Andersons, US company involved in the business mostly of grain, distributing, storaging grain, corn, soybeans, wheat, and then also producing a little bit of ethanol, distributing the grain around the US with rail, and also producing plant nutrient. The problem with all these businesses is that they are in a terrible, terrible situation now. Margins on the grain storage are incredibly low. Ethanol, we all know the issues going there. Headwinds, rail also headwinds and plant nutrition fertilizers are extremely, extremely cheap. This means also that the stock price is very cheap. If we take a look at the five year chart, we can see that it was around current prices in 2012 shoot up to 70 or more in 2015, fell down to 22, I think it was in 2016, then jumped up to 44 and now we are again at 30. So incredible volatility, which is logical due to cyclicality. Investors, analysts, they look at what happened in the last few quarters and what will probably happen in the next few quarters. And the outlook, isn't that good in the next few quarters. However, that's exactly the reason why now Anderson is a good buy, because when the outlook will be much better for the next few quarters, which can be in 2019, the stock price will spike like it has spiked two times in the last five years. If we look at the financials, you can see how the revenue is very, very volatile. It went from 2.3 billion in 2007 to 5.6 billion in 2013, and now we, we are at 3.7 billion. What is very, very unusual is that the company with 3.7 billion in revenue is now having a loss of 17 million Last year it was a gain of 12 million, which are minimal, minimal margins. If those margins improve and when those margins improve, we can see earnings per share at the levels that we have seen them in 2011, 12, 13, and then we can expect earnings per share to be at three, two, three dollars per share. Nice thing about the company is that it has doubled its book value per share over the last 10 years. If they continue like this, of course, in a better environment, it would be great for them. A look at corn prices, as you can see here for the last 10 years, corn prices, again, a cyclical, are very, very volatile. So when corn prices, soybean prices, wheat prices are low, then the margins for the Andersons are not that good. Here you can see that on the storage of the grains, the margins are currently negative. So they are not making any money there. However, if they reach the historical normal or their target range of 15 cents to 35 cents per bushel when they store it, then on the 160 million that they are storing, that is already 30, 40 million in pre-tax profits. So when the situation turns in the grain industry, the Andersons will profit significantly. If we look at the outlook, the outlook isn't that positive. That is also why the stock price is depressed. However, sooner or later, margins have to normalize because if not, then the whole industry is not sustainable and the food industry has to be sustainable. So even if no significant margin improvement expected soon in some businesses, if you position yourself into Andersons now, I think that in the next three, four, five years, the stock price will double somewhere. If the stock price falls, then you know what to do, average down, because you are buying value. You will be paying 80, 70, 60 cents on the dollar. So watch the company. If it goes more down, then it becomes a strong buy. For now, it's a good long-term investment. And a very interesting investment, especially for those who want to have inflationary protection for their portfolio. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.